Hi, my name is Tomas and you're watching Casual DIY channel. Today's video is actually part two of creating this absolutely fantastic mobile card for the cyclone system I've created. If you haven't seen part one, I really recommend you do. I'll leave a note up above so you can click it right now and come back to this video later on. But if you've already seen part one, let's carry on with the build. So the next thing is, I don't want this hose just to be flying about everywhere when it's not in use, because that will annoy the hell out of me. So I've got this piece of board that's basically going to go um, in here. I'm going to screw it from each side, and then I'm going to use this uh, flexible cord with a hook on one side, and uh, just make a contraption that this will, well, you'll see what I mean. There you go, nice and simple solution uh, to onboard storage of this bloody hose. And in the next step, we'll be looking at some onboard storage for my cordless impact driver and two drills. So as you can see that was quite easy and simple to do and just goes right up, absolutely perfect fit. So now it's time to install these on the cart. And there you go my two drills and the impact driver has got their own place on the cart now and the next thing we're going to do is to install a power strip this will allow me to install all the charges on the cart as well and obviously plug in the um the shop vac into this as well um each individual uh, socket's got it on on off switch so that will be very helpful so let's whack it on the cart So the power strip is installed as you can see i've actually got the cable uh, the power cable from the shop vac basically i drilled the hole here and in the base there just you know easiest way really to get the uh, power to the shop vac and now i can switch the shop vac by just pressing this button so uh, it's far far easier and now it's time to install the charges for my drills um so basically this one has got the ability to uh, have some screws in the um, in the board and basically i'm gonna hook it like that uh, this one doesn't so i'm just gonna hot glue it <laughs> so let's do that now so the charger that can be hang on some screws obviously it's got some ports for the screws and the easiest way to do it get a piece of paper and basically make the holes in the paper where the holes are and basically that's your pattern easiest way to do it Of 
obviously I'm not sure how strong the hot glue is going to be with uh, the second charger. I just probably have to be careful with it uh, and uh, maybe I will come up with a better solution for it in the future. But yeah, that's my charging station for now. Obviously I can uh, switch them on independently, which is very good. I'm not wasting any power. And obviously that's the shop vac. And as you can see, it works perfectly. So the next step is to hang the uh, orbital sander, my belt sander, and obviously all the sanding discs. That's coming up next. So I've got a belt sander from, uh, from Bosch, um, really good tool. If you're interested, you can actually uh, check it out. There's a link to all my tools in the description of this video under the kit section where you can actually check out all my tools and all the tools I recommend. So basically what I'm thinking, I've got a hook that I can install and basically that would just go on the hook like so and, uh, and basically hold it in place. At the minute I think that's the best solution, <laughs> silly how it goes. solution for the electric wire for the belt sander how to basically get rid of it is velcro the benefit of this solution you can get to it straight away and the next tool I want to hang on this cart is my random orbital sander from Makita and um, basically something really that simple so I can just place it like so I'm gonna be using two pieces of wood to make that happen if you enjoyed this video please remember that you can help me out as well by subscribing to my channel and obviously liking this video would be absolutely fantastic if you shared this video on your social medias as well that would be absolutely phenomenal but let's carry on with the build And there you go guys really really simple it's sturdy it's not gonna go anywhere and uh, as you can see the power cables actually got its own place as well so uh, fantastic and now it's time to make some storage solution for my sand discs which are gonna be just over here no space is wasted the holders for the sandpapers, which I need eight in total, will be totally made out of plywood. Um, as you can see, I'm just cutting it to size now. As you can see, I've set up a stop block on my miter saw to speed up the work. Now it's time to put everything together. I'm going to be using some wood glue and some brad nails to hold everything. Uh, that would be enough for the whole construction.
then there you go a fantastic holder uh, for the sanding discs which I'm gonna uh, make another one of these and uh, we're gonna install them on the card in a second I just want to show you how it works basically slot them in and they're not going anywhere there you go really cool and it doesn't take a lot of space at all as you can see fantastic and now I'm just gonna attach the holders to my card and that's the sanding discs fully loaded as you can see it's a fantastic solution easy to take out perfect they're not gonna go anywhere and obviously later on I'm just gonna mark what grids they are at the front of it so straight away I know which one I'm after so now at this point I'm gonna take everything out I'm gonna sand it slightly I'm gonna spray paint it black obviously uh, that's nothing exciting so I'm not gonna film it but in just a second you'll see the final result and there you go guys the card is finally completed I have to say I'm really pleased there uh, from the way it came out it's absolutely fantastic I've got everything I use on a regular basic in one place and uh, it's easy accessible so as you can see from top to bottom obviously that's the container with the uh, with the cyclone I can detach the top and then I've got an easy access to the barrel itself down the line obviously I wanted something for the uh, hose hence I've got a simple solution there undo it like so that's simple underneath obviously I've got the uh, hoover with the um, automatic start of the hoover just look at it at the front so it's easy accessible and I can still easily uh, turn it on and off but the actual hoover it's uh, switched on by one of these buttons here on the side but we'll get to that in a second underneath the vac as you can see we've got that uh, that shelf there and I've got all my bits and pieces for the shop vac so the extension ones and obviously all the attachments for the hose on this side as you can see we've got a, a neat storage from PVA um, pipe for my drills and for my impact screwdriver underneath that as you can see we've got very cool storage for the sanding disc for my random orbiters sander from Makita fantastic place at the minute I just put some uh, stickers on top of it so I know which grids uh, are where and on this side I've got my power brick there four slots each one is switched off and on individually hence I'm actually um, going to be switching off and on my hoover my vacuum from uh, from this end I've got two for my charging stations and one is free for any other power tools this will actually be plugged into my hanging extension which makes sure that there's actually no wires lying about my workshop underneath that I've got two chargers for my power tools and just underneath that I've got my belt sander and I've got my random orbital sander so as you can see there's few cool um, storage solutions on board of this card I'm um, really pleased how this came out really to be fair it saves me a, a ton of space uses the verticality of my workshop and it's absolutely fantastic for small workshops like mine as it's housing all the essential tools that I use uh, all the time and basically they've got their own space now and they're not going to be lying about everywhere and I'm going to be spending hours upon hours on actually trying to find them because I've used it five minutes ago I can't find it so all in all fantastic project I fully recommend it guys if you don't have one try it out build one yourself because it will change the workflow in your workshop I will now show you a bit of a close-up around the cars
is it from me today guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and you know it gave you a few ideas on what you can do in your workshop if you did don't forget to leave me that thumbs up button and i hope to see you next week on my next woodworking adventure till then take care